What's up? Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So today, I decided I was gonna go visit some little free libraries. And if you don't know what those are, I mean, I'm guessing that they're only in the United States. Maybe they're in other countries, I'm not sure. A little free library is this little like, it's, it's almost like a bird house, it looks like. Um, but it's like a little house thing on a stick and a lot of times like people will have them like maybe in their yards or in public places like a park and you can put books in there that you want to give away and then you can like also pick from there so i am actually i was in a bigger city because i had to go get an ultrasound done today because of my like fertility things that i've been doing and so since i'm in a bigger city i decided to start here in this big city and look for the little free life and I actually brought a stack of books like a bag of books they are back there so that way I could just go ahead and drop like one off at every little free library that I've gone to and I want to see if there's anything in them that maybe I'm interested in reading and then I'll grab something out we're gonna go driving around and then also I want to thank Celadon books they actually sent me two of these copies this is love people use things because the opposite never works these are arcs and i am leaving them in the free libraries because they're doing a special campaign and they're going to let everyone know like where all of the free libraries are that we let these books at so i mean if you watch my area you can totally go to that little free library i'll tell you which one i left it at and then they are also going to be telling people where all of these books are located this book is a new book coming out in july and it's all about minimalism and decluttering living with less being happy with less and I don't know if you guys know that about me because I don't really share that much over here on my book channel but I am like a minimalist at heart I do try and declutter all the time not just organize but declutter I get rid of things all the time I like living with less and that's one of the reasons why for so long I didn't like actually keep books and I would unhaul them and so I actually have not read this book yet yet but they did send me a copy to read so i'm hoping to read it in the next few weeks um but i'm really excited to be able to leave two of these copies out in the little free libraries like that's gonna be so awesome especially with like this day and age i feel like all of us are always just wanting more and more and more and we see all that stuff on instagram my perspective i feel like i really am always happier with less like when i go and buy stuff like you might get a little bit of joy then, but then you're not as joyful anymore. But I don't know. Let's go take a trip to the little free libraries and drop off some books. And we can't forget our uh, Starbucks. There it is. It's right here. Cute. Let's put this in this one. Oh my gosh, cute. Okay, let's see what's in here. Okay. Moo, um, the fearless octopus, that is cute, oh my gosh, uh, let's see, let's put that there, looks like there's kids books up here, yeah, more kids books, intimate relationships, that's interesting, Okay, uh, lots and lots of kids books. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put The Better Liar in here. We'll just put that there and it looks like nothing I am interested in. What is this? The Year of Billy Miller. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh, if I had kids, but I don't. Uh, that fearless octopus one is so cute i wonder if i should get this for my nephew that for a different kid that actually needs it okay that was cute this one should be oh i think it's behind this moving storage thing oh yep there it is okay let's check it out this is a dead end here all right let's take happy gut and put it in there look at the little garden area back there Okay, let's see, how do I open this? All right, let's, oh, the 
that is so cute. Little house on the prairie. Um, what your fifth grader needs to know. The secret garden. Cute, be my valentine. Adventures of my little pony. Jewish experiences, Frozen. United States of America, more little kids books. The girl who played with fire and just some more. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave Happy Gut in here and let's go to the next one. All right, oh, I see it. Here's another one. All right, I'm gonna leave um, one of these at this location. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay. So we've got American Hero, Blood in the Water. Oh, there's ones in the back too. This is huge. Okay. Two of those. There's some um, Joanne Fluke. A man and a boy. This looks, ooh, that looks kind of cool. Psychological thriller. I actually think I'm going to take this one. It's back here. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this here and I'm gonna take this psychological thriller with me. Gosh, how cute does that book look from here? Like, that looks so cute, you guys. This one is right there. Go ahead and put two books in this one. We're gonna put this one and this one. Cute! Oh my gosh. Uh, if I were to make one, I would make it just like this. That's so cute. Oh, cute, I have read that book. And we've got some Amish books, George Martin. Um, oh my gosh, I just bought this off of second sale and I could have, I could have just come here and gotten it. Oh my gosh, I hear that that's a really good book. All the Crooked Saints. Oh, the best of me. I just bought this also. What the heck? Literally, I just got both of those off of second sale. I should have come to here first. Garden planning. 100 questions you ask before getting married. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put both of these in here. Like that, there we go. Perfect. 11.62, I think I past it 1170 yeah now I'm going too far it must be in that cul-de-sac somewhere let's try again <gasps> I think this is the hardest part is actually finding them when you're like driving okay it says 1162 is the house but where is the library is it behind this truck there it is i found it okay so let's just pull up oh, that's gonna be hard to get to here we'll just pull up right here okay let's go look let's do a cookbook this is why I couldn't find it, because it's behind this big truck thing. Okay, let's see. Cute. Oh, they even have um, food and stuff in here. Okay, so what is this? Manson Park Jane Austen. Oh, cute. Oh, that is so cute. Oh my gosh. 
that is cute. I might actually take that for Remy because he would love that. Okay. More kids books, more kids books. Okay, I'm gonna put in this. I feel like I have just like the weirdest books to add to these collections. Yeah, and we're gonna take this for my little, my little nephew. All right, I found our next little library. This is very big. Oh, there's a little latch. Okay. All right, let's see. There is some stuff back here. Lee Child. And some stuff back here. The Aviator's Wife, Sandra Brown. Okay, so I'm gonna leave their love people use things here. Stand up. <laughs> and then I'm gonna leave this. Um, 52 ways, uncommon ways to unwind together. Okay. Okay, this next one is like literally in the middle of like potholes. So I guess I'll pull up here. Go ahead and put the 50 Shades of Grey series in here. Okay, this one is huge. Ugh, muddy too. Okay. Whoa. It's on like a... Okay. Let's put our books in here. Let's see what they have. Girl in a bad place. Okay. Eat, pray, love. Cold snap. Okay, I... The 25th hour. Hmm. Body respect. Okay, I don't see anything in this one, but it is very, very cute. I see the next one up there looks like abandoned. All right, let's grab this one and this one. Okay, please remember that this library is for sharing. Yes, I am leaving something in return. What do we got here? Saving Mr. Terub. Nothing very much going on in here. Okay, let's leave Girls Burn Bright and the Song of David is in there. Okay. This one was definitely hard to find, but we found it. Right, let's leave this one here. Who do we have? Hmm, this one is a little, a little thin here. Hmm, healthy sleep habits for a healthy child. Oh! This is cute. Oh my gosh. I think I have ghost on my on my um, TBR. I'm going to get that because I want to read that. Okay. Let's see. Other stuff. And up there is just oh, here's a book up here. Oh, nothing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here, and I'm going to take this. Okay, I literally think that we only have two more left to go to, so let's go ahead and finish this video up. Let's leave this one next, a school, and let's see. Ooh, we've got a pretty good collection here. Debbie Malcomer. Let's back up here. Another one of those, hmm. Debbie Malcomer. These are high up here. Lots of Debbie Malcomer. Nora Roberts. Robin Carr. There's the Alice Network. Hmm, I wonder if I should get this for my sister. Here. Running through sprinklers. Okay. 
1976. I'm going to leave the glass castle here. Take the Alice Network. All right, we're at the last one. All right, my last book to give away. All right, this one is pretty full. Let's see, we've got um, John Grisham, some other ones I don't know, and then down here, we've got a bunch of other ones I have never heard of. Brown Girl Dreaming, oh, that looks cute. And yeah, some other ones. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the last goodbye here. Cute. Alrighty, what a fun trip. All right, we are all done with visiting all of those little libraries. I ended up picking up four different books, two of them, are for my sister um she had a little baby boy so i picked up this cute the little kangaroo who lost her bounce because he's only a couple months old but he has been loving books so i wanted to get him something and then she did have this on her list which was really good i asked her about it so she's really glad that i picked it up so that one is also for my sister and then I am trying out a game for all the family that says that it's a psychological thriller. I actually haven't heard anything else about it. Um, I just had read the back and it sounded very interesting to me. And then this is a middle grade that I've been wanting to try. This is Lou. Sometimes you got to jump anyway. And it's actually a track series. So I believe that Ghost is the first one. I'll have to see if I can read them out of order because I definitely know I had Ghost on my TBR. But if I can read them out of order, then I'm going to start with this one and if I like it then I'm probably going to save it for my future kids or maybe even send it off to some of my nephews cousins all that kind of stuff so I did want to mention that Little Free Library actually has a website so that way you can go on and check out all the locations in your area so that's actually how I found all the little free libraries that I was going to. I just went onto the website and put in my zip code or you can do it by a couple different ways and then it popped up with like little you know like location dots and then you could see like what the box is going to look like um the address and then i just put that in my google maps and that's how i found them i actually really enjoyed making this video and just seeing everybody's different little free libraries i actually think i'm going to talk to my husband about possibly making our own because there's actually none in my area that i live in that's why i had to travel and we have such a nice neighborhood where a lot of people walk or drive through the neighborhood and i figure that i have so many books and i'm always unhauling books you know maybe i could actually stock my own little free library so that might be a video in the future if i decide to go ahead with it i just think it would be really cool because i could maybe build it i don't know i am not crafty at all but it would be cool even if i like paint it i don't know if someone else builds it for me we'll see all right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye-bye.